Hey folks and welcome. Um, look at that view. I'm in the beautiful US territory of Guam. Wow, this is unbelievable. Um, so, so welcome, I figured I'd do one from here. Uh, today's lessons in episode eight, eight is gonna be mostly about tactical breathing. We'll get onto that soon. We're gonna talk a little bit about the review of NDT and why um, it was kind of created. And also we're gonna give you a couple, uh, another safety tip. Uh, so, so again, thank you for all the support out there. Uh, NDT was created uh, about 20 years ago, and you know, I, I guess I can call it the founder. Uh, but it's really—I'm not taking credit for it. It's really a system that was uh, that I that I had studied from a lot of different systems, and I just kind of brought it all together, thinking, what's the most effective means of communicating this, simplifying it, and then. Uh, uh, making it, packaging it for the novice and the expert. And so these episodes are really, uh, I'm gonna say for the beginners, you know, and, and maybe to the intermediate folks that have some experience. The next level of this is, you know, you're gonna be training um, once, twice a week, you know, so I mean, we don't have the time to do that. Anyhow, the system is very direct and simple. That's all it is. You know, I talked about uh, closest weapon, closest target type things gross motor skills you know that's all you have left and when you're when you're scared uh, talk about um, exit plans situational awareness the mental and the physical aspect kind of intertwined and those are things that most of us aren't taught at any level unless you're in uh, dignitary protection security forces uh, special forces martial arts training so so this system is really based for that um, well, again, we'll move into tactical breathing in a second, but let me go ahead and do a quick uh, safety uh, uh, pointers out here. I I'm sitting at a uh, really nice hotel here in Guam, and I am below the seventh floor. Okay, so I'm, I'm below the seventh floor. And um, one of the things that's, if you go to my room right now, and I made a copy of it, but if you go to my room, you, you know you have that notepad that sits next to the desk or maybe next to the... Uh, the bed uh, that's a vital piece of information for you it's almost like texting and leaving um, cookie uh, breadcrumbs okay and on that notepad in my room which I do have a copy of it here's that notepad um, it says it says at uh, 0600 going for a run along the beach and, and I, I wrote, wrote that we'll do an NDT video uh, on the uh, beach of the hotel and back by uh, 8, 8.30, okay? Oh, and I head to the bottom, um, we'll get iced coffee, you know, and that's across the street. And the reason you, I have that and I teach this on, on, on some of the and people that travel or even at home is it gives the people that are looking for you just in case you disappear. It may not be a violent confrontation. It may just be a misunderstanding but it gives them a place to start, a timestamp, a direction, and that's all you wanna give them. And with that, they're, they're at least going in the right direction, kinda of like the escape exit, okay? Uh, so it's, I think it's a great pointer. Moving on to uh, the lesson, Natural Defensive Tactics, uh, Episode 8, Tactical Breathing, also called uh, Combat Breathing, I've heard it called a four gates breathing, box breathing, all kinds of different ways. We didn't breathe, we didn't make up breathing, okay? And we didn't make up tactical breathing. Uh, the SEALs do, I think, box breathing. I mean, other, other organizations call it and coin it a different way. I just call it generically tactical breathing. Um, the, the reason we do that is when you are in a confrontation, you know, you're, you are excited, your heart rate goes up, all of those things happen. And, um, you know, you want to be able to control that nervous energy. You want to be able to control that stress, that self-induced stress because of that psychological fear, you know. And, and so the easiest way to control that is by your breathing. And, you know, there's, there, there, it's, it's, it's not a coincidence that yoga, uh, Zen masters, uh, other religions, religious groups, uh, martial arts, uh, uh, the special forces, um, 
it's not a coincidence they use breathing as a means to connect the mental to the physical and to control your anxiety. It's not a, it's not a coincidence. So today we'll talk about um, a couple of te techniques. I'll, I'll mainly talk about one that we use and, and, uh, and what it does for you. Um, tactical breathing is pretty simple, okay? We have been able to breathe for, for um, millions and millions of years. And when we're, we're asleep, we autom we're on autopilot. We're still breathing, right? So that's not the hard part. The hard part is control breathing. And when you control breathe, let me just give you a quick synopsis. Um, you take in energy, obviously, oxygen. And, and as your oxygen levels go up, the demand for blood that's being thrown out to all these gross motor uh, mass muscle groups um, goes down. It's more efficient, right? The toxins are blown out, right? Uh, the, the combination of carbon and oxygen in your bloodstream is better when you control breathe, tactical breathe. As a result, your heart rate goes down. As a result, um, uh, a lot of other uh, anxiety, um, distress, um, your energy level goes up. So for those reasons, and we can get into the specifics of it, but, but generally that's what's happening. The tactical breathing, um, at least in, in, in the NDT system, is a, a four-part breathing system and and basically you want to breathe from the diaphragm and fill from the diaphragm you know up up through the uh, uh, the lungs and out through the chest so so you shouldn't be inhaling with your chest you should be inhaling with your diaphragm so the, the technique really is for four seconds you breathe in through the nose silently so you can do this sitting in the mall right or sitting in line at the bank in through the nose for four counts. Hold for four counts. And then exhale through the mouth silently, four counts. And when you get to the fourth count, you hold for an additional four counts and get all of the air out. And if there's nothing left, you're just pausing for another four counts. So it's kind of a box. You breathe in, inhale through the nose, hold for four counts, right? And then exhale through the mouth silently for four counts, and then pause for four counts. And I say do it four times just to make it easy. Some say six, eight, ten, it doesn't really matter. I do it for four counts. Now, you're saying, why do we use that? Well, you can use it, you know, at the parent-teacher conference. You, you can do it uh, before you, you're, you're flying an airplane. Anything that causes you anxiety, right? You can do it before a business meeting. No one hears you. You can do it in line uh, at your accountant or, or, or Costco, okay? Um, and, 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 if, and you're saying, how do I prepare for a violent confrontation by doing it? Well, the, the box breathing, the tactical breathing, the combat breathing was done by, you know, let's say special operators that are just about to go into a, a violent situation. So they had time to kind of bring down that anxiety. Um, in our situation, if you're in a violent confrontation, it happens right away. So uh, it may not be appropriate, obviously. Now, if you're in a situation that is ongoing, let's say it's an active shooter situation, a hostage situation, you're, you're directly you know, in the middle of this. You won't have maybe have a chance to do that four count breathing, that box breathing, that tactical breathing. But you can do what I call the four plus six. And all that is, is just inhaling through the nose for four seconds, and then exhaling for six. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And you do that four times. Now, that's gonna be quicker, one. And two, it, it kind of keeps uh, the same, right? The same box breathing, but it is more efficient in terms of uh, the time that you have in that particular situation. Anyhow, um, so that's that, that in, in a sense is your tactical breathing. Um, hope you had a good time. I'm having a good time in Guam. Uh, I'll be back with episode nine soon.